Okay. All right. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second. While recording the video the other day for Facebook ads or social media ads, whatever, I came across some things that didn't necessarily fit the criteria of the video that I was recording at that time. They were not absurd games. They were not uh, promoting uh, an app per se. They were promoting products, really <laughs> weird products that I just have to talk about. I just, I cannot not talk about these things and sleep comfortably at night. Uh, I just can't. I just can't do it. Let's go over the first one. This one, preface, we are in 2020. Masks are required basically everywhere. You can yell and scream about it all you want. In all reality, it's easier just to put one on your face and shut the hell up, but different period, that's just, that's for a different time. But for those of you who are interested in masks, there are of course always gonna be crowdfunded options, homemade options like on Etsy, uh, and just mass produced things. Like you'll see like the uh, the medical, the blue ones, the little, uh, the papery blue, looking ones I don't know the the medical standard sure whatever and then there is this a radical alternative transparent shield and respirator self-attaches skin healing reusable n95 bio filter now first of all we can see that this product has raised over a quarter million dollars out of a $25,000 goal it is 10 times its proposed budget to make them would you guys like to watch a video That's a lot of miles per hour. Oh my God. So now we have the CS95. Reusable silicone, replaceable filters, and you get to look like something out of Ridley Scott's Alien movie. What is there not to love? Look at it. Protects and celebrates our faces. Let's see your smile again. Do you want to know why everybody that sees you wearing this mask is smiling. It's because you look like a fucking idiot. Tell me this doesn't look like something out of Prometheus. All I'm saying is that if you approach me and you smile at me like this, I'm going to assume you are the daughter of Hannibal Lecter. You know how he had his little graded face mask that looked like it was out of Mad Max Fury Road or whatever? Yeah, let's continue. No ear loops. That's great, so I don't look like Dumbo. No more pressure. No more desire to go out in public. Okay. Let's browse this site a little bit, shall we? So as we just saw, the inventor of this mask feels that it is important for us to see each other's faces and smiles to live a trivial free life. Now here's an idea. If people had just worn regular masks that don't look like they were ripped off the set of Hollywood's movie Gravity starring George Clooney and just put them on their faces six months ago is when this all started, we could probably see each other's fucking faces by now. Or go somewhere. Or go to the bar and have a beer. Or a drink. Or a shot of bleach to, to wipe away 2020. I, j I just, I don't see how product images like this are selling points. <laughs> if Ridley Scott's Prometheus mask wasn't enough for you. How about we just step on up to, uh, I, I don't know, let's call this Mad Max Fury Road meets Beekeeper mask. It's like a futuristic welder. I mean, it's probably the safest mask on the market. Let's be, let's be uh, perfectly clear here, but uh, retro design, dare to dress it. Don't just protect yourself, be different and fun. You look like a Funko Pop. So let's take a look at the Eek Sack. I'll show you an eek sack. The eek sack. Better face covering. Sick Look at these casual mask maskers. Say goodbye to your face mask and say hi to the eek sack <gasps> one. <laughs> what is on the back of it? The latest in face coverings with a personal fresh filtered air flow in all in one system. <laughs> You've got to be the kidding me. Is for most adults in a one size fits all. Made of high quality and recyclable materials with a high grade clear acrylic face shield for clear visibility and protection. You cannot tell me this does not look like a helmet taken straight out of uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Stanley Kubrick was very particular about people destroying the sets and items off of his movies 
so that way they could not be taken and reused. But I am positive that someone got the blueprints for one of the space helmets. Wearing a mask. <laughs> Look how thrilled she is to be wearing that. <laughs> okay. Technology will give others a full view of your face and even let disabled people read lips and. She's like, yeah, wow, you can so feel breezes on your face. Look. Than any other face shields or face masks. This is the this is the actual the use of this right here. Flow motor system that includes a high performance fan that prevents fogging of glasses and the internal part of the acrylic protection. This I totally get. Also, the airflow cools and prevents uncomfortable sweating. This is the use for these. The that uh. The airflow system features a high performance HEPA H13. If I walked to a restaurant and I saw this, I'm going to think they just failed a health inspection. I didn't know it had a backpack when we first clicked on this link. It, <laughs> it looks like vacuum tubing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people spend a lot of time and money conceptualizing these things, and I am all for supporting that. I'm all for supporting these Kickstarters. Just having a little bit of fun. Furthermore, the same airflow prevents sweating and extreme heat inside, making it cool and comfortable. The air. <laughs> Hold on, that guy in the gray on the far right of the screen right now. Watch him when he sees that fucking mask sweating and then looks at the camera, inside, like making it cool and comfortable. <laughs> Oh my god! Based on a high performance variable air oh my Jesus, God almighty. Effective hours with a noise of 40 dB. As Who did they get to the narrate system, this? Microsoft the Sam? Is, the rechargeable battery can last up to seven hours of continued use at its max. Hey, you guys want to go to Lululemon and check out my new welding mask? Yeah, I know. I'm embarrassed too. The world has suddenly changed and now it's time for you to adapt to it. At work. At home with friends or that smile says I wasn't paid enough for this modeling comfort. gig. All right, the old eek sack. <sighs> Brought to you by Stanley Kubrick and Stephen Hawking, narrating this video. Thank you so much. What? Sport guard. Protective respirator mask for athletes. It looks like someone gave HGH to a mouth guard. <laughs> it's exactly what they did! Do you guys realize how often mouth guards get knocked off, taken out? All right, hold on. Let's let's watch the video. You gotta <laughs> can't get over this. Introducing Sport Guard, okay. a face mask created to protect all athletes, whether it's you and your friends in your backyard or professionals playing in a stadium. Sport Guard protects everyone in the game. Sport guard was created to respond to the It looks like a cup for your balls that you put around your face. PPE that medical professionals need. I think that's the same materials Our used. Mask is designed Look at that. It's a face cup. Filter out pollution and viral threats. <laughs> but what makes sport guard so unique? Unlike it's a jock strap for your face. That's what makes it so unique. Face by elastic straps. The first wave of sport guards will ship in October, so get your pledges in right away. Sport guard. Play hard, breathe easy. Okay. Okay, so here's my take. I like the design. I like the concept. Let's remove hard to wear masks that could get bunched up and stuff, especially for athletes. Uh, so let's take the, the mouth guard approach because most athletes are wearing mouth guards anyway. Here's the issue with this one. Athletes talk a lot, especially to themselves, especially a lot of shit to the other team. If you can't open your mouth because you're clenching your teeth like this, to hold in your mask, then the only way that you can yell and talk shit to the other team is like this. You cannot open your mouth or else your mask will fall off. You know why masks with straps work so well? It's because you can fucking talk. Next, I bring to you guys the Zingzo Jinjiao Jinzhou. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of Chinese pronunciation, assuming this is a Chinese company. That spelling sure gives me the impression that this could be Chinese based. We're gonna call that Xinjiang S Ring, the world's smartest smart wearable. It's super smart. Reimagine what a wearable can do: Bluetooth call, file storage, music control, NFC payment, and much more, all in one smart, compact ring. This guy looks like Secret Agent Man. Yes, hello. Oh, hold on. Do I have a ring nearby? I do. Hold on. Let's try this. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You should totally see the dick on this guy. Oh, all right. Maybe they'll pronounce the name for me. So I know what I'm saying. 
Is it playing? Have you ever noticed there it is. the number of accessories we carry along to enhance our day? Ever imagine a device that could replace all these accessories into one powerful, sleek wearable? Introducing the next big thing in the world of wearable technology, Zenso S-Ring. I was a close! A revolutionary smart ring that has over six accessories packed into one sleek ring that stays wrapped around your finger. Oh yeah? This is That's what, what rings do. My dream team we're working for the past four years. With the S ring, you can answer phone calls without having to pull out your mobile from your pocket, or even when your phone is at some distance, and keep your conversations private without others overhearing you. First of all, what a perfect pause because this guy on the right is just like, did she just talk into her finger? Let's 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 talk about a few things, okay? So, I, I like the marketing footage. It's beautiful B-roll. She is most definitely wearing a prototype, so let's keep that clear. Second of all, uh, how are you going to keep your conversations private? People can still hear what you're saying. Sure, they only hear one side of the conversation. That's often enough! <laughs> no, honey, it's fine. Nobody can hear you. No, it's just me. Nobody can hear you. Yes, yes, I know you've been dealing with diarrhea, honey. I know. I will grab wipes on the way home. No, 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 it's not good lubricant for that. I pr no, honey, no! So as I've just demonstrated, it's not keeping your conversations quiet or hidden. Packed with motion control, the ring recognizes and interprets your gestures so you can enjoy complete control of your devices. Oh, these gesture controls are just killing it! Oh, it's so good to have everything tied to my ring! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> okay, I, I think I think the ring is a cool idea. Just like I think the Apple Watch and all these smart watches are cool ideas. But its claim to fame is that it, you don't have to carry all these devices. It's all in one. You still have to have your phone with you. You still have to have headphones with you if you want to listen to anything. It's not realistic to walk around like this all day long. And you could just be wearing Bluetooth headphones that you don't have to move your hands at all. It seems like they've raised a lot of money, so, uh, I mean, half a million dollars. Let's see if they deliver. A lot of these Kickstarters don't even deliver the products, man. I don't know if you guys know that. Yeah, check it out. If you guys want to, uh, by all means, support this ring. I think it's a cool idea. I will be buying one, but I like the direction of technology. I like the thought that goes into it. <laughs> I just don't think it's what we need yet. Digital. The moving tail you control with your phone. We make lifelike animatronic tails. Introducing the digital. Oh, the, I'm sorry, the digital. App controlled for Android and iPhone. Customized for you for free. They have pledged 15,000 to help bring this project to life. Oh, we gotta watch the video, I guess. Okay. Oh, this company just makes tails. Tail company. We've been making animatronic tails since 2006. That's me in the silly hat testing one of our first versions. And since then, the tail company was created and we've. <laughs> is customized just for you. This one is an alien tail. Yes, it is. It's a kind of bone effect, but we, we create the modes and the moves <laughs> independently. And this is one of our Nightcrawler tails. Skinny and slinky. <laughs> yeah, yes it is. Ooh, fancy! Shapes and sizes. And each one is personalized. When we make it. It looks like a whale penis. Okay. <laughs> Get it off the screen! What about notifications? When someone sends you an email, your tail does a big curve. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! To somebody else who's wearing a tail, wherever they are in the world. There really are loads and loads of things we can do once we have this connection. Oh my god, could you imagine if you if you did the WAG feature? <laughs> you just find one person and you just send them non-stop notifications. So they're just sitting at home. And just... Leave me alone! I know who this at. I know who- I know who this is targeting. It is- it is not made for me, okay? Just like childhood movies that we remember that get remakes now are not made for us. They're made for the next generation. Uh, I... 
This is not made for me. I still think it's a little absurd. But I can see how the audience that it's made for would enjoy this. Between the phone and the tail. Can you help us make the digital? Any support you can give us will be gratefully received. And there's some fantastic rewards for those who want to us. Okay. Okay. Yep. Give the whale penis a nice couple of strokes. And off it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want one. I really want one. Okay, guys. I think after that one, I'm gonna have to call it uh, for a while. I'm gonna stay off Kickstarter. If you guys want to go and support these wonderful creations, please go do so. Like I said, I'm just taking the piss. I don't really think these are awful things. If people want to be creative put it out to the world for other people with similar interests. I fully support that. I think it's great. That's kind of what my career is. I take my stupid form of comedy and I put it out there for the world and whoever likes it, likes it. Whoever doesn't, makes fun of it like I just did to these things. It's all in good fun. It's just the kind of year where we gotta take things a little less seriously, you know? It's uh, gotta have a little bit of fun if we can, even though it's difficult, even though the world around us is crazy. Try to keep your heads up. I know I'm trying. It's tough. Thank you all so much for watching. And, uh, go buy yourself a Digitale. Peace, chicken grease. I'm out of here.